Welcome back. Now it is time to check on what you are clicking on in Cleveland with our digital anchor, Stephanie Haney. And Stephanie, today, Governor DeWine addressed that original face mask mandate from last week. Yes, he did. He was talking more this weekend about listening and correcting course when it comes to that mask mandate as we get things reopening here in Ohio. Here's what he said on Sunday on ABC This Week. It became very clear to me uh, after we put out the, the, the order uh, that everyone in retail who walked into a store as a customer would have to do that. It became clear to me that that was just a bridge too far, that people were, were not going to accept the government telling them what to do. Masks are still strongly encouraged, though, for people who can wear them. And do keep this in mind. Some stores, like Costco, are making masks mandatory to shop there. Now, there are lots of changes happening right now at Costco, and now you can add limiting meat sales to that list as well. Costco will be limiting the sales of poultry, beef, and pork to three items per person. Now, this is less about stock and more about supply chain, according to industry analysts. They say the U.S is in no danger of a mass food shortage anytime soon, even with closures of some processing plants. And right now it's about increased demand for groceries. So the takeaway here is there's plenty to eat, but you might not be able to, be get, to get what you want right when you want it. But if you want coffee, you are in luck because Starbucks locations are opening across the country today. And there are four different ways that you can possibly get your coffee. The first one is the drive-through, which is open at many locations. There's also order ahead with the app. You can pick up in the drive-thru or from your barista at the door. And some places where there's enough physical space, you can get grab-and-go. You can order inside at the counter and take your things to go right away, but no hanging out in the cafe. And last, some places even have Starbucks delivery with the Uber Eats app. And this is all in addition to more measures that they're putting in place for safety, including increased sanitation, facial coverings, and gloves for work, Sarah. So they're definitely doing what they need to do to try and keep us safe and get us our caffeine fix at Starbucks. I think for people who rely on that as part of their daily routine, it gets us that much closer to normal. So thank you, Stephanie.